many times we have people that come to us saying, I, I hear okay, you know, things are loud. I, I can hear many things just fine, but some, sometimes or often I have trouble understanding that things just aren't clear. And, and I've had people say to me, it's, it's not a hearing problem, it's a clarity problem. And that often points to, to some difficulty with hearing. So after we do a diagnostic test and can identify the parts of the frequency range that may not be audible, then we can talk about how that affects things. Um, often it's the high frequencies. And the reason that affects understanding is that's where the consonant sounds are. So sounds like S, T, F, T, H are high pitched and they're quiet. And if you can't hear those consonant sounds, you have to guess at what the word was. So you got part of the word, but not the whole thing. It, it often leads to um, misunderstanding. So maybe one word was said and you heard it as something different. If we determine a person has a high frequency loss, then there are various hearing aids that could be used for that and have made huge improvements in that. There was a time that, um, those high frequency losses, we would say to people, I've been doing this such a long time, that we would say, we don't have any technology that can actually assist you with that. And that's not true anymore. We've got the computers, chips, and the hearing aids that can really fine tune to those high frequencies. And we can program them to increase the high frequency sounds and not increase other sounds. So it kind of reaches out for the higher pitched consonant sounds to make those audible without making everything louder. Mm -hmm.